The surgery is a minimally invasive transforaminal disc fusion. I'm able to access the spine through a tube using a microscope. This results in a much smaller incision, but I'm also able to address the pathology directly and I'm able to fix the root cause. So unpinching a nerve is great, but fixing why the nerve was pinched, this is a fix. This will last presumably forever. Through this newer approach, I'm able to access the disc directly through a tube. I'm able to remove the disc rupture and unpinch the nerve, and that's important, right? That'll help in alleviating the pain. But I also want to fix the thing behind the thing. I want to fix why the disc rupture. By replacing the disc with a metal shim, I'm able to restore your height and alignment. By restoring your height, remember, we restore the tension to the ligaments, the cables that hold you together. This immediately makes the joint more stable. But also, by restoring your height and restoring the alignment, by improving the curvature of the joint, the other disc spaces will function better. If you're gonna distribute the weight more properly, instead of carrying the weight on the back of the spine through screws and rods that are often required with traditional back surgery, I'm able to do the same type of surgery, improve the strength of your spine, improve your alignment without screws and rods. This results in a more natural weight distribution. My expectations after the procedure are for the sharp, shooting, severe, you know, pitched nerve type of pain to be better immediately. I expect any tingling that is present down the leg to be better right away. Numbness, achiness, weakness, the nerve has to heal. It has to regrow. The nerve must first regrow, then the muscle strength will start to improve as you build new muscle. We strengthened, we added, we restored through a minimal access surgery.